Once upon a time, in a far off, isolated, not isolated, planet, Earth, not exoplanet, Earth, on January 13th, 1995, the bossest boss to ever boss came into existence. This superior specimen weighed in at a whopping 8 pounds and 2 ounces. As he emerged from the womb, the first thing that appeared was a hand with two fingers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Highly exaggerating. <laughs> Anyways, I grew up for two years in a small town called Kershaw. But I was born in a town called Camden. I don't remember it very well. I was adopted around when I was 13 months old, just over a year old. And I moved to a train wreck of a town called Chester. I went to high school there. I went to a lot of different schools before I went to the high school. I made friends, a lot of them. I also had a few girlfriends or two. All of them were crazy. My longest relationship was when you were nine months. We broke up after a year and nine months. I enjoyed sports. I played soccer for the high school team. And I took JROTC. All four years of high school I was in JROTC. And one girl in particular in the class, I won't mention her name, but she's important. Remember her. As far as my personality, I was a pretty funny guy. I was a pretty funny guy. And I was really cool, I guess. I was pretty awesome. I had a way with words. And that generally made it pretty easy to befriend me. Especially if you like the same music I do. Fast forward to graduation, and then I went to college. Oh god. That was a journey. Anyways, I met a lot of crazy people there. Mostly crazy females. I uh, also did a lot of strange things. Not like that. I also ended up, I, end, I went to college for about three years. But in between those three years, I ended up moving a lot. And after I left college, I started moving around a lot. I had a circle of friends, but it was mainly about three to four people. And then it became about two people. And then I was pretty much a lone wolf, plus those two people. Okay, fast forward five years. You remember that girl I mentioned that was in my ROTC class? She messaged me on Facebook one day, out of the blue. Basically telling me how she felt about me, and that she wanted to see me. Me and her both took a leap of faith and decided to date. And we've been going steady for a couple of months now. Which is good. There were a lot of deaths in my family tree. Mainly, a lot of them were my grandparents and... Yeah. 
but the one that got me the most was when my mother died recently. She died at 53. Okay, now, backtrack about four to five years ago. I was browsing through YouTube, and I noticed a video from a guy named Markiplier. I remember very vividly, the name of the video was called No Time to Explain as well as the game was called No Time to Explain. Let's just say I found him to be entertaining. And I started watching him ever since. And ultimately, he inspired me to do YouTube. As far as the name, I thought of one called Chaos Psychosis, but the issue with that name was, one, I thought it was too long, and two, it wasn't very personal to me. I just thought it sounded cool. So, I thought of a way to make my name more personal. What I did was I took my name, and then I was into psychology. One of the things that interested me was psychology. So what I did was I thought of a, di a disorder that I thought was an interesting disorder known as psychosis. And I took those two words, did a fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z, and... It turned into the name the channel is still today, which is Marcosis. I had an old channel, it was about eight or nine years ago when I first made it, and I called it Bam the Master. I know, it was pretty crazy. And ironically, I ended up using this same exact channel for my current channel, eight to nine years later, in 2016. Now, I was doing YouTube, but I also had a, a main job that I was working. I worked at a grocery store, or I work at a grocery store, present time. I've been working there for about six years now, and I have to make time for both, because they both are interesting to me. And one pays the bills, and the other one is just really fun. It's like a hobby. And the thing is, I love YouTube, as well as my girlfriend. But there is one thing that I love just as much as her. And that one thing is food. <laughs> and yeah, pretty much that's how my life is right now. It's YouTube, my current job, and my current girlfriend. Hopefully stay his girlfriend. Or more. I don't know. White people. Things. Thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, stay unique.